Well, that was a strong episode too, still, and I like how that came out. And finally, I can highlight <laughs> the episode 2 and Forest I will be happy that the episode 2 record will be accurate again on the speedrun leaderboard. <laughs> Looking down there is uh, what well, might be different even from just pressing down because the enemies might spawn differently. I'll have to research that. If that's easier at the top of the bridge. I don't think it is. for the congrats on E2, yeah. I should use the blaster. The toaster doesn't hit stuff in time. Well, it vanishes before, before it reaches the enemy, because at the edge of the screen the bullets vanish. Might be that holding the right is good in the corner, but I'm not sure. luck. Well, luck. Coincidentally good frame alignment or coordinate alignment modulo 6. <laughs> the game has no luck whatsoever. Still taking the damage near the end of Medieval 1, that's an uh, excellent Medieval. I like to press down only in the corner there, and well, I might I should probably spawn the boss slightly earlier than that. But not that much uh, earlier, because I really like to be in control. Yeah, the minimal music is excellent. Uh, 
I remember um, when I was first practicing jazz, I had a chatter who always demanded that I, when I practiced medieval, that I turn up the music volume. <laughs> and oh, and in practice, I complied and uh, stopped the commentary and just let the music play. <laughs> But um, but in regular runs, I prefer the commentary. The bounces are in short supply, and I still believe it's correct to use them there. Overall, I like to preserve them. <laughs> yeah, just the music. No sound. Or every stage should get the medieval music. <laughs> and just play medieval music in the background instead of the game. Such a nice route um, in Techno R1. The most volatile stages are Orbitus 1 and 2. Of course, if you don't get the Techno R Spring, then Techno R2 is again volatile. <laughs> too no, not too early. Wow, that was not too early. When you hit the airport, you already want to accelerate to the side so you can get in an early bounce of those uh, bouncy walls. Every bounce of the bouncy wall uh, moves you higher by, I believe, 10 pixels, which is a twentieth of a frame. A uh, twentieth, well, no. It saves a twentieth of a second. Clearly, if, well, if the task does something, then we should do it too. <laughs> Even if it just saves a 20. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't use that bouncer there, it just distracts me. Whoa! This run too had extremely good luck with a, a repositioning without the corner to fit through the cracks in the bouncy floor. Ah, I was uh, not standing close enough and therefore the missiles clipped in the floor. <laughs> So I got hit. That's still strong. Um, within a second of the record after two episodes, that's good because the beginning is sharp.
With the shields you can jump over the potted plant. Uh, without shields you have to damage boost. Your hitbox is different. Okay, um, interesting. I spent all the shields, but it's it's fine. I jumped very high as risking jumping into the flower. Ah, I was annoyed about uh, using all the uh, toaster ammo. I don't have toaster ammo now. Oh, there's RF missile ammo. Um, I didn't I didn't see that until now. I should I should maybe get that. That's right in front of the exit. And I don't have to enter this gap, and if I don't have toasters, we can just use the RF missiles instead. I, the, the normal strat is to use the toaster. That I usually have by the, end, by the start of Scrapper Up 1. Now with two shields it's... Ah, okay, fine. <laughs> with two shields it's a game, but if you want to go for the invulnerability. Ah. Both is acceptable. And I still have the shield, perfect. For uh, this nasty hit here. Uh, for the metal turtle there. Okay, the mistake was almost all in the uh, missed exit sign. Good turn. I'll skip the invulnerability because I have a shield. Ah. That's fine. And there is a rocket usually there that I jumped over the exit. That was aggressive and I lost the shield early on for lack of RF missiles. Maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe I should fall back to the invulnerability for now. If you press down on the keyboard here, the enemies spawn early and are in much better positions, and here I don't do it anymore. Get all of those. Uh, if you leave one, it's fine, but it's risky. Makes the jump at the end of the map extremely precise. I don't like it. <laughs> I'd rather get all the shoes that I want. Uh, stop in the center of the ledge there and fire launchers and they will go into the gap. Jump on the... I'm not even sure if pressing down is good. That's fine. Because I didn't collect all the shoes. But I made it up still, so it's good. I like to check how far the boss is from the wall to judge how well I played this one. Oof. Very, very close. Your temple has been reasonable, that means I can save time. Uh, the route uses all 6 TNT by here. 
Nipius 1 got a TNT exit uh, to save half a second. Jump over this, go in here, and TNT about here. I TNT'd a bit early. And I still made the jump, that's good. Always scary to spend all the shield deliberately but not take a hit. Good. And the good old uh, death warp. TNT the halfway point here and then die. Jump, 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 but don't jump at the top because there's a red beetle there. <laughs> that was close. Sharp turn, that was good. Well, the scariest maneuver is still ahead. It is this here, nice. I remember when I played episode 5 on hard and I didn't notice until dream pipes. But yeah, the enemies are the, s uh, are the same. Whoa. Up, 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 up. Hi dragon hero! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Dragon Hero, the route change so far has been only in Nipius 1. We TNT exit Nipius 1 now. Uh, Carlito found that. Oh, it's the. This is the old account. Nice. Yeah, I uh, what I forgot. Uh, I remember you had the uh, problem with uh, logging into the, your old account, and I forgot which account had that name. It might have been the old or the new one, but I'm <laughs> glad that you got the old account back. Congrats! Mm -hmm. This has been uh, this marble era has been going smoothly, except for the first jump over the. Statue in Marble Era 1. I just picked up one launcher, but I hope it's okay. Yeah. Sloppy, but fine. The biggest loss in the record is forgetting to get these speed shoes. I just jump out of that hole without getting those shoes.
always look down, look down, look down, look down to accelerate slightly faster, but it's just a micro optimization. Sometimes it depends on how the enemies spawn, but. And here using the launcher uh, is risky because I like to use it here and you often run out of launcher if you use it too much. Good clip. Wow, this is going smoothly. Hi, 607. one very promising run earlier that died in scrapper up well it just died uh, i lost all the health not only the run died but just died and the run was in the greens by scrapper up and this run is also in the greens now which is uh, cool yeah the biggest time save is in slagion uh, about five seconds I didn't get all of it, but I uh, got a good chunk. And the dream pipes again is uh, going well. I don't need to hit this one, but I always do it out of habit. On the CD version, there are launchers here, launcher pickups on the stairs, and uh, the floppy version doesn't have those. That's another version difference that I found, but it's not a big one. Uh, they don't affect the run, and I don't believe they affect casual play either. <clears throat> well, of course, it's nice to have extra launcher ammo, but uh, the boss uses RF missiles. Easy. I just practiced episode 6. <laughs> um, it's your first birthday away from the family. <laughs> Did you move to university town? Uh, what happened? <laughs> or got a job? Pezrock 1 is going well. No, 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 no. Missing the one cycle, but you can jump after this one and then only miss half a cycle. Right, this one if it's just there. Mm, that's unfortunate. I turned too early, but it's still okay here. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't hit the fourth one, but uh, you only need to hit the first one or two. Yeah. 
Yeah, this uh, small loss is expected, but it's okay. Hmm. I don't have RF missiles, I can't go for the death warp, I have to play the normal route. That was aggressive, pressing down. All that matters is snatching this springboard. <laughs> I don't even have to get the launches. Yeah. Maybe I should begin firing some RF missiles at the mines. Rare. Normally I get hit there. I should I should have used the missiles. I have them. There's no use to save them. Just kill the barrels with the missiles. Yeah. It, on easy this you can kill it quickly enough before it shoots at you, the boss. That's good alignment. It should be record by about two seconds or three. Uh, three. That's it, we have a new record. <laughs> the second ever 27. <laughs> These really fun splits to run um, against because there is no large mistake. There are um, Sadly, it does have this excellent uh, episode 3, but who cares? Uh, the earlier episode 3 had two golds, <laughs> so it's fine to be plus 5 here. Oh. This, is, this is probably the cleanest run that finished so far. Maybe I had... Maybe the uh, 2804 was stronger into Dreampipes, maybe, but <laughs> this one finished. <laughs>